way, obviously you come around, you jump the water. I would get them forward and try to move up here, and then on the last stride, they can shorten up if they need to, right? But jumping from water to water, usually they hang in the air and they don't land forward. So I jump that one and ride on for two or three strides and then saddle and see where you're at as far as jumping this one. Okay, let's try it. Sit back, lean back, lean back, lean back, good. Good, next one, good, now let go, let go, sit back. Good, very good. Good. Okay, come this way. <clears throat> so it sounds a bit simple, but like your horse and Max yours, they weren't really looking for the next jump. You know, like they got up here and then you got them there and then you were both very good because you got them over it. But like to me, they could, you could have done a better job of landing. And, you know, I was talking about you have to become the horse's leader. You know, you have to be the one that shows them what to do. And you have to land and you literally pick their head up, show them the jump. You know, like your horse gets all coiled up and then he gets there and he says, oh, shit, there's a jump. You know, like you have to land, bring his head up, show him the jump, and then he will then, there it is, and then you can ride to it. Whereas at the moment, good. And on those last couple of strides, you can position your upper body a bit more, right? So rather than being here, good. And on those last couple of strides, you can position your upper body a bit more, right? So rather than being here,